Hello everyone, welcome to the part 2 of my Godot 4 Infinite Runner series. I will be mainly focusing on the player this time. To get started, I will create a new character body 3D, a mesh instance, and a collision shape. In the mesh instance, I will set this to be a capsule, and I'll also set the collision shape to be a capsule as well. And I've also gone ahead and applied a material to it. It's going to create a new script. Now, in Subway Surfers, there are three different stages where the player could be. He could be in the far left, middle, or the far right. And I've gone ahead and pre-measured out where those positions for me will be, and they may be different for you. But let's create a new variable, which is called positions. We'll set this to a new array, and I will do negative three, zero, and three. And we also do a new variable called current position, which will be where we're currently at. And I'll set that to one, which this will be the index, so we will be at the middle position. You can go to the ready function for now. And if you have not already, I highly recommend checking out my swiping tutorial. I will briefly go over it here. So let's create a new variable, swipe length. We'll set that to 100 for now. Our start swipe will be set to a vector two. And variable current swipe will also be a vector two. And swiping will be false. Let's go ahead over to our project settings. In our input map, I will add a press input. This will be a mouse button left click. And now inside of our process function here, let's go and check if input dot is action just pressed, press. If we are not swiping currently, we will set swiping to true. And now let's set our start swipe to get viewport dot get mouse position. Now let's also check if input dot is action pressed, press. And we'll check if we are swiping. If we are, we will set our current swipe to our get viewport dot get mouse position. And now we will check if our starting swipe dot distance to our current swipe is greater than or equal to our swipe length. I'm going to go ahead and add two more variables. One will be a threshold. We'll set to 10. And the other will be our swipe direction, which will be set to zero by default. And now let's check if the absolute value of our starting swipe dot y minus our current swipe dot y is less than or equal to our threshold. And if it is, we will have to now check if our start swipe dot x minus our current swipe dot x is less than zero. If it is, we will then set our swipe direction to negative one. And then if else, we'll set our swipe direction to one. And now we can go ahead and set swiping to false. Let's also check if else. And if we are not dragging, we are not swiping. So false. Now. If we go ahead and also print out the swipe direction, we can see that if I swipe to the right, we'll get negative one. If I swipe to the left, we'll get positive one. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and flip those values. And for organization's sake, I will go ahead and throw this into a function. We'll just call it swipe. We'll use this. We also go ahead and copy over the variables since we can localize them here, everything except the swipe direction, which we still need to access. And now we'll just go ahead and call that swipe function. Now let's go ahead and check if our swipe direction is equal to one. If it is, we will check if our current pause is less than two. So if it is not at the end, if it's not, we'll go ahead and add one to it. And let's go ahead and update our position and I'm moving on the Z axis. So on the dot Z, I'll set this to positions and our 
current pause. Let's also set our swipe direction back to zero. Now let's go ahead and copy this, create an elif statement, check if it's negative one, and if it's greater than zero, if it is, we will subtract one. And I made a mistake earlier, make sure to have these variables outside of the function. My bad. Now, if we press play and we go ahead and swipe our character, he will move in the direction we swipe him in on the three lane sections. And before we set up the death function, I have to fix some stuff with the level. Since right now, obstacles will spawn instantly. And that's not good since it will not give the player time to prepare for those obstacles. So let's create a new variable. I'll just call it initial obstacles. And we'll set that to zero. And I have a blank obstacle, which is set at my index four. So let's go ahead and check if that initial obstacle is greater than 10. If it is, we can go ahead and spawn as normal. However, if it's not, so else, we will need to create an instance, which will be our fourth obstacle. And we will add one to our initial obstacle. And to make this more scalable, I'm gonna go ahead and make it a index of zero. That way, you know, we can guarantee that we always have the first one be a blank spot. Now, if we press play, you'll see that we have blank originally, but then we will get obstacle spawning. I'm gonna go ahead and set that to five as well. Now over to our player, let's create a new raycast. We'll call this our death sensor. We'll rotate that 90 degrees. So make sure it is facing out the front of the player. Now let's press control and drag over our sensor. And we'll quickly check if our death sensor is colliding. If it is, let's call it a death function. Let's go and create that by going function death. Then we will for right now get tree dot reload current scene. So now we can play the game as normal. However, if we hit an obstacle, it will restart our level. Now for a jump mechanic, let's go ahead and create a new const. We'll name this jump velocity. We'll set this to seven. And let's also create a new variable called gravity. We'll set this to project settings dot get setting. We'll get the setting physics slash 3D slash default slash, sorry, underscore gravity. Back down to our swiping function. We will need to implement the threshold feature. So we'll check if the absolute value of our start swipe dot y minus our current swipe dot y is less than our threshold which we set before then we will go ahead and run this code and now let's add the code for the jumping so we'll go ahead and copy over this we will check the dot x and the dot x let's copy over this and in here we'll check the dot y and the dot y however we only need to check once if it's greater and if it is we will set our velocity dot y to our jump velocity. And we also have to check if we are on floor. So is on floor. And let's go ahead and update our gravity in our process function. So velocity dot y will minus get gravity times delta. And let's also move and slide. Now, if we press play and we swipe up, we'll be able to jump and we can still Swipe left and right. Also, currently our swiping is very choppy. To fix this, we can go and remove these original position C's and we can create a new line where we will set the position Z to a lerp F of our position dot Z, our positions with the cur position, and let's do delta times 30. Now, if we press play, you'll see that we have much smoother transitions and jumping as well. Anyways, guys, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.